Hey everybody, uh, this is Jess and I'm doing part 2 of my tutorial videos. Uh, now what I'm going to do right now is just show you a few of the shortcut keyboard commands and just basic movements and things that you can do in this game to help you along. Alright, so first up you would have been uh, reading the tutorials that were given to you about the mouse control. So basically if you right click that changes your camera angle you can go right around 360 view if you do left click like click ahead it uh, you get a little uh, sort of ghostly arrow key that helps direct your movement so it's basically auto move the other thing that you can do is zoom in or out by using your scroll key just in the middle and so that's basic mouse movements your other keys uh, w, A, S and D that'll be your uh, movements for running around and walking around. Uh, other keyboard shortcuts are if you press well we've already learnt one we have press F and that brings up our community page you can remember it F for friends so, and that brings up your friends list and you'll be able to access all these other things through that one key you can also press I for inventory and this brings up right now you can see gosh we're pretty naked <laughs> we have one item which is our short bow which we start off with uh, in here we can see we have no items in either one of our bags uh, these two bags here are unavailable you can buy an item from the cash shop to expand your inventory. These two boxes on the side you will get this top one is a present box. Uh, this inventory is for your reward items which you will get from doing certain type of quests called kingdom quests. Um, they go in there and also if you have a master you get or you're in an academy you will gain things and they'll be put into that uh, reward box. This bottom box here, this other present box, displays purchased or received premium items. That means anything that you have bought from the Outspark store or items that have been gifted to you. Down here we show uh, the money amount that we have and we got 300 copper from doing that quest before. So there we go, we have 308. Somehow we have 8 extra copper. I'm not complaining. Okay, so that's inventory. Uh, other shortcut commands we have V on your keyboard and that brings up your action list which is some uh, items such as auto attack now these are little icons that you can actually move down into your hot uh, your hot bar down here um, now we've already got auto attack in there because we, we don't have any other skills we've only got auto attack item pickup that basically means see how there's a number just at the top here on your keyboard if you were and I'll show you this later on when we go attack some things but if you were to press that that letter the sorry that number on your keyboard you would be able to do that particular action and what else we have down here is a whole bunch of different things and if we right click on them we actually perform them so that's sitting we can be super super happy hooray uh, and there's a few different dances down here as well. So, yeah, have fun. Another thing is that each particular character has their own, uh, sorry, each class. I'm really bad at all these names and things. So each class has their own individual dance and this is the archers, which really kicks ass. I love it. Um, <laughs> so that's V. Now, what else do we have? We have... L. If we press our L key, we get our quest list. Now we've only got one quest out of 20 at the moment and it tells you we can actually go to the NPC, which is the rewarding NPC, which is Healer Julia. We'll head over there in a moment. And um, to get our reward. It also just gives you a really basic, you know, um, detail and explanation of the quest, what you're supposed to do. Um, now this is a button here, location. Hmm, let's click this. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is actually a full map of 
Rumen. And you can see over here, there's a blue queue which means that there's a quest there ready to be completed. More baby steps. There's our quest. So there are other queues here. There's the green queue which means that was that quest was in progress. And there's a bunch of other red queues which means we can go to these NPCs and pick up other quests. Very, very, very good. Okay. So the other key that I'll just show you is K. So if we press K, once we get some skills, because we're pretty newbie at the moment, we'll be able to see them all listed down here inside. And there are uh, active and passive and also alchemy, which is basically production skills you can use, uh, which are really fantastic for helping you to make some money. So anyway, let's just run on over to Healer Julia. And there she is waiting for us with her little blue queue and we will double click on her and see what she says whoa okay we just leveled up that was brilliant um, and she also has another quest for us now what's this little let's see this little duck up the top here actually he he helps us out too when you level up you get this little duck house and it tells you what sort of quests you have available so let's see We'll just select this question. Oh, she's helping us out as well. She's telling us about a mini house. When you press your home key on your keyboard, you'll be able to get to your mini house. Yes, I understand. Um, so she's also telling us about confronting stronger monsters to help us level up, such as slimes or mushrooms. Hmm. Okay. Now, this will give us... Oh, look, she will give us XP so experience points for helping us to level 8 copper and 1 fame also we'll get aim shot which will be our first skill that we can use in this game Oof, that's brilliant now what she was talking about with the home key I'll see if I can do it here I may not be able to but if we press home oh no see down here it tells us cannot rest near NPC or other mini house that means that we cannot um, rest anywhere in this town <laughs> pretty much except for specific areas because there's too many NPCs and different characters around okay now what I'm going to be doing next is just going through in my next video I'll talk about the chat boxes the different commands with the chat boxes and we'll also be able to get this quest from Blacksmith James and just before I sign off I'll tell you you will get these notices up the top in green are server-wide notices so everybody sees them and this is just Outspark telling us about a uh, particular deal that's on at the moment okay well I'll continue on in my next video